So it's been a while since I posted on this channel and I tried to post more on this channel and my bad for not doing that, but it's because I've been busy doing other things and working on other channels that this one kind of gets, gets lost in the weeds sometimes, but I'm trying to come back. I do have some videos. I have the Canon video that I've been working on for months now that needs to get done. And I also got some more unboxing stack upload too. I just had to put down the back burner, but I did want to come back today because I heard something crazy that just changed the game. And I just want to give my thoughts on it and tell you how I, I feel. And just to give you a short video to let you know I'm not gone, but just this is a big deal. And on the screen right now, I'm showing you Nikon just acquired red camera, which is huge. And as a recording of this video, I just found out about it. So you're getting like my actual natural reaction to like, did, did this just happen? <laughs> like this absolutely changes the game, honestly. Now it's probably going to be some time before you see the actual results of this purchase, but this is huge, especially for me, because one of the first cameras I learned to do video on was a red camera. Sorry, I had to stop and re-record this part because I just realized, I just thought about it. Do you understand the technology that Nikon now has access to? One, Nikon now has its own cinema division. Nikon has access to the red sensor. Nikon now has access to compressed raw, which red has a patent of. And I totally forgot about this. I don't know why it slipped my mind, but red actually has a global sensor. Red had a global sensor and Nikon now has access to all of that technology. Looking at how things are going, and this is just my prediction, Canon has about two years. I actually want to say four because you're probably going to have that first iteration of issues, but I would say Canon has about four years to get there, to come out with a camera that blows everything out the water. Or I believe Canon now is going to be the weakest of the big three. And I say this because when you look at Nikon and basically the technology they just inherited, when you look at Sony and how basically every camera, they added in a new feature and make it better. When you look at Canon, they tend, in my personal opinion, they tend to kind of hold their stuff back. And that's kind of the issue I find with Canon. And again, I'm a Canon guy. I'm probably never going to leave Canon. But in my personal opinion, Canon feels like it's about to fall into that trap that they did with the 5D Mark IV. So it kind of has me nervous. But again, we are years away before we see the results of all this. But this is kind of normal. It happens all the time. I mean, there was a period where Sony was the weakest of all the camera companies. And then Canon went through their time too. So it happens all the time. But this is some really big news. And I just wanted to talk about it because I did not think I was going to get done eating breakfast and then see this news. So I just wanted to put this out just to kind of share my thoughts and just to let y'all know, again, this is not a dead channel. I just am working on a bunch of other stuff, but I do and I hope sooner than later to get back to this channel. You know what I'll do? Because I do have some more unboxings that I haven't released. So probably next week I'll release another unboxing. Beyond that, this news was just so big that I just had to just talk about it and give you all my two cents and just tell you my feelings on it. Um, again, this is big. This is huge for Nikon. And probably within the next two, I want to say four because, you know, you got to give some time for that first iteration of cameras to come out and probably make mistakes. They may not be perfect, which I like to call those the tester cameras. So... 
once you get past those, then you're gonna see what's basically the true power and what this all means. So I'm excited. As a person who loves gears and who loves cameras, I'm very excited at this news, even though I'm a Canon guy. And yeah, um, I can't wait to see what happens. Congratulations to y'all Nikon shooters. Honestly, because I actually do love reds. And like I said earlier, I did start learning. Well, one of the first cameras, not the first, but one of the first cameras I did learn to shoot with was a red. So who knows? I might be going to Nikon myself because of red, but we'll see what happens. Again, that's just a maybe, but this is big news. And I just want to talk about it because I would have never thought that this would happen. And yeah, I'm excited for the future. And I can't wait to see what all this means.